today we'll be reviewing Marvel Legends 3 and 3 quarter inch line classic Wolverine. So a few years ago, the Marvel Legends line owned by Hasbro decided, you know, let's get a little nostalgic for our fans, the kids that grew up in the 80s, the 90s. Let's give them that three and three quarter inch figure size. This is a Hasbro product, but to even make it more 80s, they give it that Kenner shine to it. So Kenner, if you guys don't know, is um, one of the main companies that made Star Wars toys uh, so, so big with the three and three quarter inch line. And that was basically a staple. G.I. Yeah, Joe had the three and three quarter inch line and many others. Uh, follow though so with this here the packaging i'm a big fan of it has a classic artwork here um you know i kind of held off on these figures because they were a little expensive when they first came out though on the back you get a little bio in multiple languages is always good another part too i think they for the money they put into it though they could at least put in a card but this one right here you can cut this out and have like a little trading card and that's it, really, for the packaging, though. So let's go ahead and open this figure up. Just a simple blister pack right here. Most of the time when I open figures up, I always try to kind of keep a little bit of remnants of the figure background. I'm Like I said, I'm a big fan of the artwork. Maybe I might cut this up or something, but the figure does come out pretty good. This is just some warnings and stuff like that about choking hazards and a few other things, I guess. But we're going to throw that out. The figure does come in this little uh, sleeve here. It does, and so the figure, it does look half bad though. Uh, it does have a little smirk right here, which is always kind of nice. Uh, Wolverine always kind of has like a mean look to him though. The claw on the back, really not too much though, but right here, uh, that looks really bad though. It's, you know, it's just the numbering, it's just, it looks bad. I understand like a lot, and I also see some pegs here for just to mount your uh your figure on some i don't know if they'd fit like the old pegs like on on the side like an old gi joe thing here uh, so for my final opinion about this figure though the paint job is really botched on it though uh not only on the head but the numbering right here like i said before um limited limited um posability but that's what you're buying with an old retro figure um you know a few things i wish they would have done a little bit better is probably Give some joints that moved in the knees like a G.I. Joe would. I figure, you know, would have been, would have been real cool if they did, though. Um, as far as this figure, would I, would I bought brand new for 16 or 17 bucks? What it is? No. Would I get this figure for, like, under 10 bucks? Yeah. Uh, if you shop around, uh, I'm a big fan. Just check out Amazon. There's always, like, good deals on there if you just know when to buy. Um... All in all, though, am I satisfied for what I paid for? I paid uh, $9 for this figure. Um, yes, and that's a very re reluctant yes. So the main reason why is I don't have a three and three quarter inch classic Wolverine. Um, he's going to go, he's going to do a little bit of multi-version with uh, some of my other action figures he's going to stand with. And who knows, maybe I might like it a little bit more in the future or might regret even buying it. But for the time being, though, um, I'm so, so okay with the purchase, though.